neck was. It was stiff, right? Yes. yes. It's been like two months like that. It's been two months like that. Okay. Do you still feel that stiffness? No. Not at all? It's free. <laughs> <laughs> it's free. Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Joseph Cipriano and today we have our patient here. Um, now I know, well originally you're from Mexico, correct? Yes. Okay. So originally from Mexico, but she's <laughs> now actually working, um, actually back in my hometown, well my home state in Michigan, um, up in Midland, Michigan. Um, but today, so why she's here, she's primarily getting a lot of pain in the, the middle of her back here. She's been getting um, like a back spasming and, and it just contracts everything. Um, on a little bit more she said on the left side. But also at night what happens is she starts getting numbness and as you're telling me it goes down right into the thumbs. Yes. So now currently right now you do have, you have numbness in the thumbs? No, just when I woke up in the mornings or if I woke up at the middle of the night just mm -hmm. to go to the restroom, I feel the numbness. Okay. All right, so just, yeah, in the morning, right in the morning when she wakes up, she'll have the numbness, and sometimes it's the left, sometimes it's the right, or sometimes it's both. Mm -hmm. um, now, does that happen every morning? Lately, yes, it's been maybe two months, I guess. Two months like that? Okay. Yes. Right. Sometimes it can maybe three months, I don't have anything, I'm good, mm -hmm. but it's been two months. Okay. Like all right, so two months of waking up with some type of numbness in either hand. Um, and then, yeah, so the pain and spasming comes in through here. Now, also, she has, you've been having issues in that low back, um, and then also going into the, there's pain in that left calf mm -hmm. as well. So today, what we're going to be, we're going to focus on all that. We're going to make sure and get this completely cleared up. We're going to do the, the low back and the hips. Also going to check to see if, if it's any type of sacrum issue. Um, and then also even with that calf, you know, we'll go through and we'll do any type of, is it, do you feel it right now? In the calf? No, I, I, yeah, I, okay. yeah, true, I, I, I <laughs> but sometimes it's more intense than right now it's, it's, not it's bad. from one to ten, maybe it's in seven, Okay. but sometimes it's ten. Okay, yeah. so seven out of ten, for her that's better than, you know, when she has that complete ten out of ten pain, um, but yeah, we're going to be checking to see if, if that calf is, is stemming from that low back as well. Um, so what I want to do, I want to put you through some ranges of motion in the neck. Um, let's see if anything is causing any pain for you. Um, just to kind of get a baseline and see where we're at, okay? Yeah. Uh, no, no, sit up. Oh, okay. Good. Um, if you're to look all the way up at the ceiling, any pain with that? Uh, not today or not at this moment, but I, I've been feeling sometimes here that I cannot, uh, it's, mm. it's so tight that I can, maybe I can, but not. Like all the way up. But with, I feel like something is pulling. Okay. But right now I'm, I'm okay. Okay. And then if you were to look all the way down at the ground, anything with that? No, not right now. Not right now. But okay. I, I felt it before. You've, Sometimes oh. I okay. felt it. And then if you were to bring one ear to one shoulder, any issues with that or to the other side? Here. So pulling on that side? Yes. Okay. And then if you were to just rotate and look yeah. over. Here, here, the mat. Uh, here. Um, here, a little. Like, here. it's tighter. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just going, just basically right now a lot on that left side of the trap here. Okay, yeah, that is very, I'm, I'm lightly pushing in. Is that tender when I push in? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to have you sit up nice and straight. I'm going to do some orthopedic tests. I'm going to push down directly on the top of your head here. Does that cause any pain when I did that? No. Good. We're going to bend it to the left. Any pain with that? No. Good. And then to the right. Any pain with that? No. Good. Perfect. Any pain when I go like this? Mm. Not no, really? no, no, not little, very little. Very little? Okay. Right, not. And then what about this side? Uh, it's like it's not flexible, I don't know. Okay, it's like pulling just a little tight on this side? Okay. Alright, so we got a pulling tightness pain. Um, now, right now, is there just a little numbness or no numbness at all? No, it's just, it's just when right I in that morning. When I wake up. Wake up. Okay. Yes. Alright, good. So no issues with the hands right this second. Good. Um, I am going to have you lay face down for me. Yep. 
<laughs> okay, so how I start every adjustment is I'm going to scan the entire body. I'm going to check from the right side to the left side. I, you know, I look for that symmetry. I look for, you know, any uh, tight muscles, any, any just uh, bony, you know, like bony uh, prominences that are, you know, either kind of going to one side or to the other side. It's just little things that I, that I look at and look for. Okay. So we're going to start in that cervical spine. Now let me know if any of this is um, painful or tender. So we're going to push in, we're going to palpate that cervical spine. Okay. Right? I love you. Okay. So she's feeling a lot of pain right there. Um, so that's, as you can tell, right at that base of the hairline right there. Okay. Now does that pain stay there? Do you, do you know, does it travel yeah. into the arm though? Or is uh, it just right no, there? No, it stays there right now. Okay. okay. All right, so it stays right there. Um, we're gonna go a little bit down now. Okay. Yeah, we got the tight trap, especially on that left side here. Okay, so we went from that cervical spine. Now we're going into the thoracic spine. Good. And from the thoracic spine, now we're getting into that lumbar spine. Okay. Right here? Okay. Any pain over the right SI joint? Directly over the sacrum? No, no, no. Okay. What about the left SI joint? Um, needle. Alright, so a little bit of pain here, uh, a little bit of pain at that L5, um, right onto that sacrum as well. So now we're going to come down to here and we're going to check the leg length. So as you can tell, her right side, her right leg is pulling short. Um, when we scan up the body here, so it's a little bit raised right here on the right. Um, also, even right through the thoracic spine, it's a little bit raised up right through there as well. So just little things like that are, are what I look at and what I focus on. Um, but we're going to go ahead, we're going to start the adjustment up at the that cervical thoracic junction, right around that T1 area here. Okay. Alrighty. So we're going to start on a T2 adjustment on that left side here. Good. She's got to get a little of these hairs out of the way here. All right, we're going to do a T1 on the right here. There we go. <laughs> got a lot of movement with that one right there. Okay. So we're going to come in at that upper thoracic area. I'm going to have you take a deep breath in and exhale all the way out. Good. One more time. Deep breath in and all the way out. Good. Okay. So now we clear down a little bit in that, that cervical thoracic area. We clear out the thoracic spine in through here. Um, still got the lumbar and need to check uh, the hips and the sacrum. But we're going to come back, check the leg length. Still a little right short, but it is definitely better than what it was. So that alone has already got a lot of movement down here. But what we're going to do, I want to see if it's more of a sacral problem or more of a like hips and pelvic type issue. So we're going to stabilize right here on the sacrum. I'm going to have you raise this leg up as high as you can for me. As high as you can, as high as you can. Is there any pain with that? No. No? Okay, relax. Now I want you to raise this leg up as high as you can. <laughs> any pain with that? No. No. Okay. No. So um, how, did, how did one leg feel compared to the other? This one is easier than this. Okay. This is Heavier. That's heavier to you? Okay, so this leg was a little bit harder to raise than this one. So what we're going to do, I'm going to have you cross this foot over that foot for me. Good. So what that's telling me is that, we'll pull the spine out here with this one. What that's telling me is her sacrum is pointing more towards the right side. So when it points more to, towards that right side, her leg here is able to lift up higher because the the ligaments that are connected right from here are loose and are open. But what's happening on this side is that everything is already taut and tight and it's restricting that leg from going up. Now in her case, both her legs don't really raise up that high. So both are actually pretty tight right in through here. But she does notice that, that this leg feels heavier when trying to lift it. Okay, so the table is going to come up from below you, and then it's going to drop down just like that. Good. 
So what's happening is, so that this leg feels heavier, that sacrum is pointed more towards the right, so we need to bring it back like this to the midline. So we're going to be doing a P to A drop, which means posterior to anterior, and then we're going to do a clockwise rotation. Good. Now I'm going to have you do, we're going to run this leg. One more. There we go. Alright, I want you to raise this leg as high as you can now. Do you notice the difference? Mm -hmm. Good. So it's easier now and she's able to raise that leg up higher. Good. Okay. So I'm going to come back, recheck that leg length there. Okay, so still short on that right. So what that's telling me is we got a little bit of issues in that lumbar spine that are still contributing to that short leg. So I'm going to have you lay on your side and face me. We're going to bend this top knee. I'm just going to roll you a little bit. There we go. You can come a little bit closer to me. Perfect right there. Good. He fell. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to have you flip to the other side. That side's good. Let me just roll it just a little bit. Perfect. Good. <laughs> Lay it flat on your back for me. Okay. So from there, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a leg pull. Um, so with that leg pull, you may feel a little bit of relief in the ankle and the knee going all the way up to the hip as well. Good. <laughs> she felt that one. Good. Okay. So now I'm going to have you stand up. Come on. Good. I'm going to have you stand up and face it this way. Come on, come on, come on. Yep. Perfect, just like that. <laughs> so I'm going to have you put your arms out. I want to make sure and clear out the rest of this thoracic spine here. So I'm going to put my arm over here, over just like that. And I want you to put your arms up and over mine. How? Like, how, how? Like, B. Yep, and come how? down like how my hands are. Put your hands over my hands. Here? Yep, yep oh. exactly. Lean back on me. Squeeze your elbows. Good. <laughs> <laughs> You felt how that all opened up? Okay, good. Take but a seat. It, didn't, it didn't hurt. It was <laughs> just good. <laughs> Take a seat right here. Good. Okay. Good, good, good. Alright, I'm going to have you turn this this way for me. Alrighty. So yeah, that cleared everything out throughout that you know, standing up there. Let's just see if we got any a little bit lower here, so I'm gonna have you give yourself a hug. Good. Deep breath in, and exhale out. Perfect. And relax, relax, relax. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use the Y strap. That Y strap, <laughs> she's nervous about this one. Um, yes, it's a very, it is a very powerful move, um, and you'll feel it all the way up in the upper cervical area, and you'll feel it go all the way down the body. So I'm gonna have you just lift your head up for me. Okay, good. I'm gonna just scoot you down, right there, just like that. Okay. So I distract in this y-axis direction, and we're gonna decompress that entire spine here. Oops. <laughs> Okay, just relax, just relax. <laughs> you feel how that just decompressed? Yeah, got a lot of movement there, didn't it? <laughs> yes, my neck was... It was stiff, right? Yes, yes. It's been like two months like that. It's been two months like that, okay. All right, I'm gonna have you come on up. Now, how does it feel? Do you still feel that stiffness? No. Not at all? It's free. <laughs> <laughs> it's free. <laughs> yeah, because I was 
screen here. This side. So now it's clear. I don't know. Is there any pain up in the neck anymore? Mm -mm. No. It was here and I don't, I don't have pain anymore. Okay, so she did have pain when pushing in on the neck like that, but yeah, as she's going around pushing through, no more pain. Good, good. That is what I like to hear. How would you describe this y strap um, adjustment to somebody who's never had it? It's like... Um, if you have, how to say, like, um, mm, it will pull you can, or, okay, you can sorry. Say it, so. You can say it in Spanish as well, <laughs> if, if it's easier, trust me. I have a lot of my viewers are, are Spanish speaking, so okay, they I, actually I, I, helpful. I'll say it in English and okay. Spanish, if I can, okay. I mean in English. So, okay. if... It's, it's like it pulls your vertebrates or your vertebras. The vertebras, yeah. Yeah, like they, um, if they were like, uh, kind of like stuck. T t stuck together, then they move like. You feel them just pull apart. And yeah, they, they pull apart and you feel like a release or a relief. Um, I don't know, it feels so good. <laughs> but you can, you can really feel like they, they move apart. like. They were like maybe shrinked or shrinking together, mm -hmm. and then they just separate apart. It's great. <laughs> um, I don't know if you want to say it in Spanish. Sí. <laughs> okay, esta técnica <laughs> te despega, te despega las vértebras eh, están unidas y empalmadas, pero al momento que recibes el tirón es ellas se despegan completamente y sientes mucho bienestar. Sientes que Te quitan un peso de encima. So you are feeling something heavier and then you feel lighter. So that's that's how can describe it so. Good. You were having something heavier maybe mm -hmm. in your neck or in your shoulders and then you're lighter. And then lighter, yeah. release, like yes. you just feel that tension gone. Yes. Good, good. Um, light. Now, what I want to do before you go, just because um, I want to make sure everything stays nice and relaxed before you leave, and then I also um, want to work a little bit on that calf, that left calf ah, as well. Um, so I'm going to have you lay face down for me. Okay. So I just want to make sure I know that everything is now just open and relaxed and feeling good. Um, but yeah, I just I want her to be able to like have her muscle be relaxed so she holds the adjustment longer. Um, and then I do want to do a little soft tissue work on her left calf as well, which was causing her some issues. So yeah, she had a little bit of tight traps, um, more on that left side originally. So that's why you know we're coming through here. Um, she was very easy to move. Uh, her vertebra things would move apart really well, but you know we really just want to make sure that these muscles are are not going to pull back and bring her body back uh, to the previous alignment where she was at. Um, I know that, she, like she said, she's been waking up the past two months with uh, numbness in her thumbs. So hopefully, from the adjustment, she will not be waking up like that anymore. Um, but I will definitely follow up with her on that and make sure that that's not happening. So as you can tell, you know, we're going through that low back as well, going through the hips and pelvis, and just making everything, making sure everything, all those muscles, everything are getting loose and, uh, and just getting nice and relaxed here. Now she was also having some issues right here in the, in the calf, so we're going to also just use the soft tissue massager down here in the calf just to relax everything. On the inside? Like, no, like in the bottom. In the bottom? Okay. Yeah. Alright, so she was saying she was having a little bit more pain in the bottom of the calf compared to that top. So I think just because you're putting pressure? Probably. 
but I, it feels more there than actually in the in the upper part. Yeah, there, yeah, there. So yeah, we're just going through. We just want to relax these areas. So. And then we can even go through, you know, go on the hamstring as well, relax the hamstring. Because you got to realize everything works in, you know, like a chain of command, you know. From the calf, there's pulling through here, pulling through here, pulling all the way up top. So, you know, when you make sure and relax and you stretch these areas, um, you know, you can decrease a lot of the pain, you know, just with that in general. So. Perfect. Here we go, you can sit on up. How'd that feel? I like it. <laughs> good, good. I feel it in my muscles. Please. Do you? Perfect. It's exactly what I was intended for, you know, to get some muscle relief. Um, but yeah, so that was, you know, nice full body adjustment. You got a lot of great relief, great pressure relief. No more neck pain right from that, you know, that Y strap adjustment. Um, so that yeah. <laughs> so if anyone is looking to schedule an appointment, um, go right to my website at drjosephcipriano.com. Um, I'd love to get you scheduled in. Have a good one, everybody. Thank you. <laughs>